Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Law Online meeting number 142, first meeting of 2018. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I'm all mixed up. I thought we had one two weeks ago. We were supposed to have it last week, but uh, we're having it this week. This is the third week of January. For those of you that you know aren't playing along at home, let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. We'll do triage. We skipped it last meeting because well, there wasn't that much to talk about, and we decided to make it a short meeting. Um, so we'll do triage today, a few extra issues because of that to catch up on. And then we've had this discussion going on in Wix devs, and we'll have a quick you know, talk about it here because Jacob asked nicely to, hey, can we have it on the agenda? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then we'll talk about anything else that's going on um, from there people want to talk about. But since Jacob's the only one here with the rest of us, I expect it's going to be mostly burn, and then we're going to take off and go figure out whatever the heck is going on. So... Oh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that weren't here with us right here, right now. Uh, let's carry on to do triage. Bob, you ready? Let's go. Oh, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. All right. Oh, we su we suppressed this one. <laughs> did, we, did we really? Um, so this is the option to suppress hard link, and his particular case is... Um, some sort of file cache and not wanting to link into that. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, yeah, yeah, in case you don't know hard links, they're you know, pointers, essentially, inodes to the same content. So you can update any of them and they will update the original content. Um, if you don't overwrite the file at the location you're writing to. If you open it and edit it, you'll edit it everywhere. If you create a file and it, you know, delete essentially stomps over that file, yeah, it should break right. yeah, that link. Correct. Um, but it means that we have to do that. Essentially, we have to, uh, because, you know, we're not in entire control of all I.O., like right. cabbing. Well, I guess actually we're in control of cabbing. No, we're in control anyway. of cabbing. Um, I think there are some places where we're not in, in complete control to that level. Uh, but the simple solution there should be to just delete a file before you overwrite it or create it. Yeah, I think let's take this in Wix 4 um, because we're using the intermediate folder better now instead of using the temp file, which we were doing. Although even then, we should do... We should be able to do. We should be able to be smarter about when we hard link because we should be able to hard link our own content. Yeah. Things that we built, like the cabs, are the most usually the most important thing to hard link. Um, individual files. Yeah. If you have loose files, we probably should copy them and not hard link them to their other locations. Um, and if you have an MSI with lots and lots of loose files, well, then it'll be slow to you know, build because we'll have to copy all those things that are new. Right. Um, so but I think we should be able to do that smarter in Wix 4. Um, so let's go ahead and put this in Wix 4 uh, with the comment of trying to be a little bit more um, correct in our handling of hard links. And then as we already told this guy two weeks ago, three, no, four weeks ago now, I don't know, whatever it was, um, that he should be able to create his own binder file manager and override right. the hard linking behavior to get whatever he wanted. But we should probably be a little bit smarter by default. So let's go ahead and put this in four. And it's one of those things that when I come back to it in four, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that. Let me go make sure that all our links are done. Because that code in general is better now than it was in the past. Agreed. All right. Project references are missing. So I think this is a doc bug. Yeah, uh, I agree. That he's like, I did not find that node. I only see that. The other node is like, okay, fine. So we need to update documentation. And I did not find a setup project and selected that option under Wix 3. Right. I right click on that and choose add reference, but the projects tab does not contain any projects. Nor do you provide the least bit of information as to why or how to where to look at the project. That's really kind. Um, mm, not really. And of course, that has nothing to do with the project that was created. So. Yeah. So I don't. So this is a doc bug. This I don't know. This is like saying that you can't create an ad reference to another project. It seems to be saying, well, I don't know what it's saying. But you know, the snotty tone doesn't really 
help me get past? Uh, so where do you want to put Stockbug at the back issue? I put it in web. Okay, that sounds good. One of these days, someone with a little bit of free time should go through web and just fix a bunch of small things. Yeah. Although this may be inside the dock in the chum, but I don't know where that's at. That. Yeah, we've done that before, though. Yeah, just one yeah, of those. We could fix this in, you know, four, and when we have the web stuff um, updated, then it'll just show up there magically. Yeah. yeah, Jacob, I assume that's right, too, but, you know, I have to go repro it. So, anyway, we'll take the dock boy for now, and then we'll see where it goes after that. Um, enable relative path with double dot and file source attribute. Yeah, um, I asked for clarification because, of course, that works for me. And, in fact, I used it... Um, yeah, the, their file name's wrong. Well, if, so if it resolves, it's going to work. Wrong. Yeah, this doesn't yeah, it, have anything this, to do with source. Right, right. I can see this not working if it's, you know, the name attribute. Right. So, But source works. Source will work just fine. So we should resolve this as source works correctly, right? you know, and then let them go figure out what the rest of their problem is. Because yep. relative, I know that works. <laughs> They're probably missing a backslash in their variable. Maybe. But that backslash... No, no, that's going to be a bind doesn't thing. doesn't matter. Yeah, this is that's all buying. Like that was just not finding the file. This is somehow their file name got set wrong. So it's probably their file name attribute has dots in it or something. Yeah. Hmm. But and they said the source is the problem. Like no, the file name is wrong. I just used it like eight seconds ago before this meeting. So yeah, yeah I know I know that works. All right. Um, Uh, so we have another case where we have to catch an exception, I guess. I'm not sure how this happens. Um, um, it looks like there, there's an explicit directory wrong. create directory if you have an XML-only library. Uh, but if you have a library with bound files, we right. do the directory create directory after trying to create the cab. <laughs> well, yeah, that was kind of, yeah. Toss it in V4. It's one of those things we should mop up in there. We should make sure that that's correct in V4, although the code just changed a lot in V4, so maybe it just works. Uh, documentation, how to validate test and MSI CI pipeline. Cool. Someone could write, this goes in the web, and someone could write all that. Please add common programs to burn. Okay. That can go in the 4X. If it's not in there already, I think it's reasonable. Um, although nobody else is going to do it until <laughs> I think not, not nobody. Discrepancy between Wix variable documentation and behavior. According to documentation, cannot be an empty string, but empty string does not cause an error. Hmm. Okay. It seems like you should be able to set a bind variable to blank. Yeah, and in fact, we we use empty strings in uh, NetFX extension. <laughs> okay. So the documentation is wrong. Great. Yeah. Easy. So let's uh, say correct, and let's put it in 3.14 probably, just um, and 4, just to fix the documentation, to not mark it required. Well, we can't oh, put it in two milestones. We'll put it in 3.14, and then everything in 3.14 has to get pushed forward. So it's a simple, it should be, a simple XSD tweak to say not required or Create the setup exe, set burn, I assume, um, yes. with the guard feature, control guard feature. Is this new? I don't know this one. I don't either. Um, all right, we can put it in 4x. Say, sure, if someone wants to help, they could go help do that. Go build burn with this switch, whatever that means. So we just need someone to go do that work. That was a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. I think this one we had already discussed pretty well, this hard linking thing. If you go back two or three meetings ago, that's where most of that was discussed. 
And Bob had already done enough homework on the other ones that might have been questions. That there we go. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Burn discussion. So I'm going to go bring Jacob back, and we get to listen to his um uh, fish tank in the background. Um, and talk about this burn discussion thing that he wanted to bring up. So, uh, Jacob, go ahead and I'll let you start. Alrighty here. Well, I'm just trying to figure out where to start on this. The behavior that I'm seeing is that when a user hits cancel after cache is already complete, so you're in the apply execute stage, um, we roll back anything that happened in apply execute, but we don't go back and clean up the cache. So in the end, if you don't have any rollback boundaries, the bundle is unregistered and removed, but the actual packages that it cached are left in the package cache. That should be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the, I'm, I've been thinking I, how this might have been hiding is that we do a lot of parallel caching, and so our cache phase lasts as long as the apply phase most of the time, or not as long, but closer. And also it's canceled, so people don't hit it as often. Um, but it does sound like a real bug. I mean, if this repros, which is just kind of like, really? But I guess I could see us missing that, or having it broken somewhere along the way. Like I said, when I was looking at the code, the only thing that is calling that uh, do rollback cache is the actual um, caching side of things, not during apply execute. Yeah, I haven't been in there. Uh, Sean, this is more your world at this point than mine. Yeah, I. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in there, too. Uh so that do rollback cache, is that supposed to clean the cache? That doesn't really sound like it's named properly. <laughs> well, yeah, do rollback cache executes. I mean, if you're looking at your plans, you have different stages. And so on the cache side, you have a cache plan. And if that fails, then you have the rollback cache plan. So do rollback cache is doing the rollback of anything that happened during uh, caching. And when cache completes, there's no ability to do a rollback, or there's nothing that does it. Yeah, there's nothing else that is, is referencing that. And there's no clean cache operation. Well, there, at the end of apply execute, if it's successful, there is the clean cache for packages that were temporarily cached for the install but weren't flagged by the author to be cached in yeah, a persistent. Cache equals no. Um, but but that doesn't... is explicitly skipped if an error happens. <laughs> and that yeah. still wouldn't clean up the... the, the uh... oh, yeah. Right. I mean, the... you know, we need to know which packages we cached and on rollback remove them. Yeah, rollback cache. Um, so it probably got broken when the cache and then apply got split up into two different threads? No, I mean, that's been that way for a long time. I mean, I mean this has been this way for a long time. I'm, I'm not aware of any changes in here that should have broken this, so I'm, I'm a little perplexed how long this has been here. Um, if true, right? It's just like, wow, really? It might be worth looking... Um, Looking at like three seven, the three seven is the is uh, one of the pivot points in burn. Uh, it might be worth looking at uh, at three seven to see how it handled it, whether that has basically essentially always been there, or if it was um, a a breaking or a bug was introduced somewhere along the way. Okay, that, Bob's right. That's actually a pretty good idea of going back to waste three seven, building a bundle with that. Um, so the first thing, first, it sounds like the easiest thing to do for, is to get a repro bundle, and it sounds like it should be enough to create a bundle that has even a single package in it that is not parallel cached, 
and the MSI package in the bundle has a built-in failure so it always fails to install and that bundle like if someone could build that test case right then should be able to um, build that with 3.7 and then like 3.11 um, or 3.14 for that matter um, and uh, see if the behavior is different for what gets cached right well, and I think the first step is just getting that uh, that bundle, that test case set up so that we can verify that, that we yeah. can reproduce it. Right. That's what I'm saying. So creating that bundle, and then it should be able to be compiled with both 3.7 and uh, 3.11 to see if it reproduces in both places to start with. Mm-hmm. And a debug, and if, well, I don't know if it's going to go back and do a debug 3.7. Um I was thinking a debug build might be interesting for three fourteen because of the plan. The yeah. plan. We gotta we gotta get that enabled somehow in retail builds. Well, yeah. In general, it's a lot of noise, but maybe sorry, it, it, it's a it needs to be opt in. Yeah. yeah, or an ETW thing. Yeah. Um, all right. So I think that's probably the next step. I, I do not know how we got in this situation. This this, this is um, perplexing to me, um, and it would be interesting. Enough. But I'm I'm not going to be able to take point on this issue, as has been obvious by my inability to respond to even move the thread along. Um, Sean, I can can you I, can you work with I can me? set up. The... Yeah, that would be great, Jacob. Can you and can you and Jacob kind of like take this one? I mean, yeah. It sounds like Jacob's willing to do the work, so... Sorry. I I need to remove (laughs) myself from the middle of it so people aren't expecting me to respond, I guess is what I'm saying. (laughs) I think having you been in burn more, I think, between the two of you, it's like, yeah, cool, let's go get a, you know... The net result is, hey, it'd be great, let's get a pull request for this, though, is the answer. Right? Whatever that... The correct answer is there between Jacob and you. And like I said, I can set up a test case and whatnot. My bigger concern is is um, the proposed changes that I have that I think will fix it, trying to cover all the boundaries because I would don't want to break it more. <laughs> I'm not as familiar with you know what's going on in the internals there, but from my limited understanding, adding that extra checkpoint at the end of the cash rollback plan so I have something to pin off of so that way when apply execute fails, I can go back to that cash rollback at that final checkpoint. Yep. And, I, and I know Sean's been through a lot of those messages due to some of his other work, so I'm hoping he can give you know an extra boost to the confidence there and I'm always willing to nod sagely (laughs) notice I didn't mention Bob's name at all through this conversation (laughs) I'm a little hurt I'm a little hurt I admit yeah just because I didn't give the option to nod sagely um (laughs) all right I I think that's it this I I'm still a little mystified by it. I, I am interested. I just do not have the cycles to go run this down. Um, I need to stay on moving Wix 4 forward for all the time that I'm spending on Wix right now. Um, but this is a you know issue. And honestly, Sean's been in there more recently than I, so I just be like, what does all this code do again? <laughs> native code? What is this again? Um, no, that's not true. I like native code. Um, so, all right. I... I Thank you for clarifying the issue, uh, uh, Jacob. I, I think in email I didn't want to believe that what you were saying was what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, no, that's la, not la, 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 not about oh, No, no, no. It's just more like, I hear you, but that doesn't sound right. Um, and, yeah, no, that's exactly what you're saying. So, um, all right. Well, uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. I, I, <laughs> I'll be interested to hear how that turns out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and if you guys really get stuck, let me know. But I, I think you guys will figure it out. <laughs> um, caching code is um, twisted. It's way more twisted than it should be because um, it was discovered. Some There are some late-breaking issues discovered that had to get resolved um, rapidly. And it created some really twisty code for a while. So that's where we're at. All right. Ah, they'll 
that'll be that'll be fun to watch and um, see how that turns out. Anything else that people here want to talk about? <laughs> um, I th- I think this burn thing will let that kind of be the thing that you guys are working on for now, and I'm not making a lot of progress on extra stuff right now. Anyway, so we'll we'll see how this burn thing goes, and then get back to. Um, uh, Wix 4 discussions from there. Uh, and speaking of Wix 4, the Wix 4 repo is still the best place to work in Burn, right? If you're doing it in 4, but I think this thing needs to be verified in 3 without taking any changes. Well, in. yeah. Verified in 3. Would you would you take a fix? I don't know. Depends on what it is. Okay. Depends on when it was introduced. I mean, let's go understand it a little better. And then yeah, we'll yeah, agreed. Agreed. Go. Oh my gosh, uh, we have to fix that. I mean, you know. Or if it's been there since three seven. I I don't know. Yeah, I, I yeah I don't. If it's oh my gosh, I can't believe it's going to take that much code to fix it. That's probably yeah, right, more right. the issue. Then oh small agreed. change right. That's what should have been there from the beginning. Okay, we could do that. So we'll see. All right. Anything else? We're still talking about burn. Um, but why are we, uh, yeah. Native code and stuff that runs on the end user's machine. Guess which takes the most bulk of your time? Um, well, and newest component in Wix, I guess. All that together. So, all right. If people don't have anything else, I think we'll call this good. Um, Two weeks from now, so it'll be the first of February. Yay! Uh, but don't you know? Don't have to wait. Go ahead and be moving things forward on Wix devs and see what comes about from that. Um, and yeah, lots of I mean, this is cool stuff's going on. Yay! Yay! And it's not security related. I think that's what I'm most happy about. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a burn issue, but not a security thing. Yay! Yeah. So it's like, yeah, that's not good, but. Yeah, we don't have to worry about people's machines being completely infected with bad stuff. So, yay, we can breathe a little bit. All right, uh, on that note, you guys have a wonderful two weeks. Uh, We'll see you then, and uh, yeah, later. Bye. Bye.